Hey guys, it's Curtis. I hope that you're all doing well. I am okay. Um, I don't want to hear anything about my hair or anything about my eyebrows because I need to get my eyebrows done and also I'm, I'm not straightening my hair for a little bit. I've decided I need to give my hair a little bit of a break from heat. So um, yeah, I'd, it's either going to be this weird curly mess in videos from now on or um, like I'll be wearing a hat, I don't know. But um, yeah, today I'm here to do a Christmas themed recipe. This is a cool little gift idea, the peppermint meringue lollipops. Um, I, I, did, I made these for a Christmas stall, Christmas market thing that I did uh, a little bit ago and they, they went down really well, I sold out of them. And I wanted to get this video up before I went on holiday last week in Portugal, but I didn't really have time. So I'm doing this today. I've got lots of Christmassy ideas um, that I want to get done. But I, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll talk about my, my sort of my schedule, what my plan is for this channel, and um, on the lead up to Christmas at the end of this video. But at the moment, let's get into this uh, video. I hope that you enjoy it, and um, yeah, let's get in there. To get started for this recipe, we're gonna make a Swiss meringue. I thought we'd do a Swiss meringue today, um, just so it's a little bit different from doing a French meringue, which is what I usually show you how to do. So I've got a pan of simmering water, and I put a bowl of egg whites on top, and I'm gonna pour my sugar in there. I'll leave the measurements for these in the description box below for you guys. So I'm just gonna stir it constantly on the heat, just until it warms up and all the sugar dissolves. Now once all the sugar's dissolved into those egg whites, I'm gonna pop it into my stand mixer with the whisk attachment and I'm gonna whisk this up on high for about five to seven minutes, just until it's nice and thick and I have a nice glossy meringue. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer for this as well, of course. So once my meringue's nice and thick and glossy, just like so, I'm gonna add my peppermint flavoring um, really just do this to taste. I find that adding just a tiny bit more than you think is perhaps necessary is best because when you dehydrate the uh, meringue in the oven it it does lose a little bit of its flavour. So I've split my meringue into two bowls and I've dyed one half red. I'm gonna tell you now that dyeing meringue red is gonna be so difficult. And my tip for you is to dye it pink first with some pink gel food colouring so you have a good strong base and then adding your red food colouring so you're not using as much red food colouring for it. So I've put my meringue into some piping bags and in some cling film, I'm gonna pipe some stripes into it and I'm gonna wrap that up in some cling film just like so then snip the end off, and then if a piping bag fitted with a gem 2D starter, I'm gonna insert that cling film filled with that meringue inside. And doing this is just gonna split up the colors nice and sort of evenly when I pipe my meringue lollipops. So on a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper, I'm gonna start piping my meringue lollipop. So you're just sort of doing a really big rosette around. I'm just sort of holding my bag directly over where I'm gonna be piping. I'm just doing a swirl around. You can do them as big or as small as you want them. But once you've piped them, you can st then start to insert your lollipop sticks. I, I insert my lollipop sticks about two thirds of the way in. I'm gonna bake them at 100 degrees centigrade for an hour and a half. And once they're done, I can release them from their baking sheet. To finish these meringue lollipops off, I'm gonna wrap them up and make them look really pretty. So I've got a roll of cellophane here. I will, I will link to where I get my cellophane from, but you can get it from most sort of supply stores. Um, so I've just cut out a rectangle. I'm gonna insert, put my lollipop inside. I'm gonna sort of wrap it inwards from the back and then I'm gonna gather it onto the lollipop stick just like so. You only wanna be a little bit gentle with this because you don't wanna end up breaking the meringue. And then I'm gonna tie a bow around it with some gold ribbon. And then once I've done that, I'm just gonna just trim away the excess and neaten up the bow. And that's pretty much it. I think these meringue lollipops make really cute Christmas gifts. They're perfect for like a coworker or a friend. If you just wanna give them a little cute little something, or if you can go into like, I don't know, like a Christmas hamper, if you know what I mean. Um, I think they're really, really cute. And they're relatively easy to make and they're quite, cheap as well to make as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe and if you did, please give us a, oh, I can't even breathe. I need to start breathing between sentences. Oh my God. <laughs> as I was saying, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and click that like button. And if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Both of those buttons are just down there. So make sure you click both of those and check me out on all my social bits. Um, all the links to those are in the description box below. And um, what else? I've got all the ingredients for this recipe in the description box as well. And there will be a blog post for a written recipe of this 
on my blog. So you can check that out as well if you'd prefer that. Um, so I was gonna talk about, I was gonna talk about my schedule for the, this, this, this festive period. So I've got this video up now, and I'm also gonna get another video up this week, and then I'm gonna have planning to do another two videos next week. Um, I also have a order and I'm also moving house this week, so I am really, really busy. So if I don't get a video up this week, there will be three videos up next week. Um, I have more Christmas ideas other than just the four I've, I've just mentioned, um, but I just don't have time to do them, so I'm going to have to do them for next year. Uh, if it's it unfortunate, I wanted to get them all done, but I just haven't had the time to do them, unfortunately. But yeah, you might get a bit sick of me next week if there's three of them. Hopefully, I have time to do the second video this week. So um, yeah, I that's all I have to say. I um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope you guys keep warm. It's really freezing at the moment. Like it, I've got snow. I, I'm looking at snow through my windows right now. And it, I hate snow. I hate snow. And um, so please keep warm. I hope you have a wonderful week, weekend, whatever, whatever it is you're doing at the time of watching this video. And um, until then, take care. And um, bye. I'll see you in my next video.